So here's my new Mac Mini 2023. I just set it up. Um, very satisfied with it because now I can hook up two monitors at the same time. I'll show you what it looks like on the back end. All right, this is the back of the Mac Mini. And uh, you can see I have one HTML cable connected to one monitor, 4K monitor, and then the other um, Thunderbolt cable connected to another 4K monitor. And then uh, they have uh, one extra uh, Thunderbolt cable I connected to uh, this M.2 SSD. So I bought this uh, Mac Mini 2023 M2 to replace uh, this one as a MacBook Air M2. Um, the reason is because uh, this MacBook Air only have two USB-C ports, as you can see. Um, however, you can only hook up one external monitor. While well, this new Mac Mini can simultaneously support up to two displays. As you can see here, uh, the display support can simultaneously support up to two displays, one up to 6K resolution at 60 Hertz and uh, over the Thunderbolt. And then the other, um, you can support up to 60 Hertz over the HTML, which is uh, my current settings. And as you can see here, I have two 4K monitors hooked up and both of them can set up to 60 Hertz. And for those who still have that uh, MacBook Air, um, my solution to use a dual monitor is to use this uh, docking station. Um, but if that you can see it's uh, one, over $145 um, with the current Mac Mini price, only start with four ninety nine. I think there's a no brainer that uh, you should get the Mac Mini instead of that MacBook Air. Let's check the the disk performance first. And first, I select uh, to the Mac Mini disks. I choose the desktop. You can see you can write about 17,000 megabytes per second and you can read about 15 megabytes, 1500 megabytes per second. Now let's select to that M.2 SSD. And you can see the M.2 SSD have a far better performance uh, than the Mac Mini original disk. So now for the memory performance, as you can see at IDO is about uh, nine gigabytes memory usage. And this memory actually is consistent with the MacBook um, Air M2. And that's why the Mac two, uh, MacBook Air is really slow if you only have eight gigabytes memory. And of course we have this uh, screen capturing going right now, uh, but you can see the CPU and the memory is kind of stable. Now come to the question, which one should I buy? I didn't go to the uh, lowest uh, option, the 499. Uh, instead, I choose the 16 gigabytes memory. As I said, at IDO, um, the Mac OS alone can use up to 80 gigabytes memory. So I highly suggest you bump it up to 16 meg. For the storage though, um, because you can have external M.2 SSD, uh, I will just go to the lowest one because actually all my applications right now are run directly from that M.2 SSD. So uh, we leave everything else the same. So the final price will be um, the $679.